তো আজকে একদম প্রথম প্যানেলটা হবে লেগো স্পেশাল প্যানেল লেগো কি কে কে জানে হাত তুলেন লেগো জিনিসটা কি আপনি জানেন না লেগো কি আপনি জানেন না লেগো ইউ ডোন্ট নো হোয়াট লেগো ইজ ইউ ডু ফাইন সো নাইস সো লেগো ইজ সামথিং দ্যাট ইউ ক্যান ইউজ টু মেক লিটারেলি এনিথিং অ্যান্ড ইন দিস প্যানেল উই হ্যাভ থ্রি ভেরি স্পেশাল পিপল থ্রি জিনিয়াস অফ লেগো স্টার্টিং উইথ দ্য লেডি উই হ্যাভ দ্য ওয়ান এন্ড ওনলি জুডি থা হু Yes, yes, yes. Who has taken a special place in our hearts for making a Lego version of Shangshad Bhavan. And then we have another genius of Lego, Ishtiak Bhai. The special thing about Ishtiak Bhai is he's, he's, an, he's like a ninja. Like you will never know how big a collector he is unless he shows you what big his collection is. And then speaking of big collection, we have the big guy himself ruba bhavan bhai who is also a huge specialist of lego as you can see his structures are amazing and we have some someone else uh, i don't know this guy uh, because he's he's in a he's in a mask he's a, he, are you a mandalorian yes he's a, do you do you do legos is is your suit made up of legos it is made up of legos can we have a huge round of applause for the founder of Dhaka Comic Con, Sadi Rahman. Okay, so shall we start? Uh, thanks for coming, everybody. Uh, thanks, Judita, for the awesome uh, Parliament Lego. Uh, I would like everybody to vote uh, to make this Lego an official set. Uh, it's in the concert venue over there. So those of you who didn't vote, please go and vote for this uh, set to be an official Lego set. And regarding the question that um, Fahad already, uh, Kaiser already uh, asked that, why Lego is so popular? Uh, actually, to tell the truth, the Lego is always a bit popular, but it wasn't so uh, till 2015. Like when they released the uh, uh, Lego movie, that's when actually they became the largest um, uh, toy manufacturer, uh, toy, uh, toy company in the world, revenue-wise. Like before that, metal, you know, Metal was the largest uh, toy company before, but uh, in 2015, uh, they had a, a revenue of around $2.1 billion, I think. So that's a huge thing. So after that, Lego didn't stop there. And nowadays, Lego is amazingly popular because when you see a new movie coming up or anything, they get the license and getting the new uh, sets coming up very soon. It hurts the pocket though, but that's how it is. So before that, kids didn't, uh, the line of Tego, Lego was not so much uh, broader. But nowadays, you can find every sort of um, line in the Lego, like the Friends uh, that recently came up, the TV series thing, the movies, the Batman, everything. So that's why Lego is so popular nowadays. Thanks. Uh, I've been collecting for a long time, but uh in between, uh, I actually stopped collecting for over like 10, 15 years. But uh, about 10 years back, I started collecting again thanks to some friends who just, you know, showed me some of the stuff that you can like do these days with Lego. Because uh, in the past, I mean, you could do a lot of stuff, but they weren't, you know, they looked more simpler and more like primitive and more toy-like. But these days, like, as you can see from all the examples over here, you can like create basically uh, anything you want. And the movie tie-ins and all the other various uh, themes that are constantly being newly made and introduced all the time, they allow you to, whatever your interest is, doesn't matter if it's like, you know, action figures or like architecture or like movies or like, you know, cars or vehicles or, you know, comics or anything really, you can find some kind of Lego set which will allow you to build whatever you, wherever your interests lie, basically, yeah. So uh, I would like to ask Juditha about uh, your initiative to make uh, the Lego set of Parliament. So tell us the whole story. How did that all start? Why do it? How, how did it all happen? Well, I've been building Lego for years, and I like to do these architecture sets. And in the architecture set, you can get the Eiffel Tower, and you can get the Sydney Opera House, or you can get Falling Water by Frank Lloyd Wright. 
And I was thinking, well, Bangladesh has this amazing masterpiece of modern architecture, our Shongshot Bhabon. And I was thinking to myself, why, why don't we have that in Lego? This would be a great way for people to recognize Bangladesh for something positive. And um, so I said, well, okay, how do I suggest this to Lego? It turns out there's this process where you have to build it, and then you have to submit it online, Lego Ideas, and then you have to get 10,000 people to vote for it. So that's why I'm going around everywhere trying to get 10,000 votes. So we're only at 4,600, so show by vote court the hobby. So that's, that was my idea, is that I wanted to give something back to Bangladesh, because Bangladesh in these 16 years has given so much for me. So Juritha said that we have to see this as we have seen in the miniature Lego version. এটাকে যদি আমরা চাই যে গ্লোবালি কমার্শিয়ালি এটাকে সেল করা হোক তাহলে যেটা করতে হবে উই হ্যাভ টু গেট টেন থাউজেন্ড ভোটস সো ফার চার হাজার ছয়শো ভোট আছে আমরা যদি ইন্ডিভিজুয়ালি সবাই ভোট দেই তাহলে কিন্তু উই ক্যান মেক দিস এ ফেন আর ভোট কে কে ভোট দিবে আজকে কে কে ভোট দিবে এটার জন্য কে কে ভোট দিবে আর ভোট দেওয়ার জন্য ওই দিকে একটা বুথ আছে ফাইন্ড ইট অ্যান্ড ইউ ক্যান জাস্ট গো গো অ্যান্ড সাইন আপ অ্যান্ড গিভ ইউর ভোট রাইট আর উইকান ভোট Do you want our Shangshat Bhavan to be a global Lego phenomenon? Yes, we are going to vote. All right, so when it comes to great toys, comes not so great uh, knockoffs, right? So uh, I, I want to uh, talk about that. You are three Lego enthusiasts. So what do you guys think about knockoff Legos? Uh, yeah, knockoffs, like shop kitchuri knockoff thake, but uh, me personally, I never supported any knockoff, especially of Lego, because Lego, the brand itself, is a huge personal attachment to it, uh, personally. So, uh, knockoffs, I really don't support them, but still, uh, they have been coming up with exactly identical uh, models of Legos at a very fractional of the price. Uh, like if one of the Lego is $100, you'll find the same thing for like $20 to $30 at max. And that's because they don't have any R&D or they don't pay for the designers or anything. So that's why they can do it so cheap. Uh, so this last April, uh, the Chinese authorities actually busted their whole factory. And there was around like $30 million worth uh, Lego sets, like 600,000 Lego sets or so. Uh, they just found and confiscated everything and they shut it down. But I'm pretty sure, like, they'll just change the name. <laughs> they'll, just, they'll just change the name and come up with a different name with those things. Because I have seen in the uh, abroad, I've seen in shops, like, the latest models are already on shelf there. So I don't know how to stop them, but I think we should. And we really should stop buying those um, uh, knockoff sets because that hurts the... Um, creators and everything. Uh, if we, if that goes on doing so, so we'll not be having any new sets in the future, most probably. So that's my opinion on that. Do you want to add anything? I'd like to point out that Lego bricks are not uh, actually, as of 2000, I think they're, they're no longer um, owned by Lego. Like they're out now in the, in the official, sorry, can't say the word. Um, so to copy a Lego brick is not illegal. But to copy the design, the idea, the packaging, everything, that is illegal. You can take something that is made of something like a Lego brick, like these, for example, are not Lego. They look like Legos, but they're not. But they have not copied Lego's design. They've taken bricks and they've made their own design. So that's great. Make your own design. So if you buy knockoff Legos, don't do it because you're buying um, the Death Star. Okay? Do it because you're buying something that's a new design, something unusual. Or just buy the bricks and make something. There's many other makers out there, like this one. These are made of a much smaller micro bit brick. And look what they've made. That's an original design. So it's okay for these guys to have their own original designs. 
But if you're buying something and it's because, oh, I can't afford it, I'm just going to go buy the cheap one. Well, what you're doing, as Rubab said, is basically you're stealing from Lego, and that undermines their ability to make the new designs, to make these great ideas. And then eventually they wouldn't be able to make them anymore. So don't buy the knockoffs, but do feel free to buy other bricks and make what you want. Yeah, should I continue what she's saying or what? Uh, okay, uh, regarding knockoffs, uh, I'm with Rubab on this one that I don't support it at all. But there is a but. The but is that uh, some people would may want to buy like uh, bricks just for uh, as like to build other things. Like bricks in that case are like any real brick. It's a raw material which you can use to construct whatever you're thinking. So in that sense, I mean, if you can get just some non-brand cheap bricks to just, you know, get an idea of what to do or like, you know, create something that uh, you have in your mind, you can do that, obviously. But uh, eventually, I mean, if you want to like get the real experience of uh, a really high quality experience of how to build something which really, you know, is easy to build, is comfortable to build, because experience is like a part of it. So in that case, then, you know, you can just get any kind of Lego and then you can have a feel of that thing. And you can get a Lego on any price, really. It's not like you have to buy, like, the $500 set or something like that. You can get, like, a $20 set and get the same experience. I mean, there are, like, very few toys or any kind of product where you can buy the cheapest thing and get the experience of the most expensive thing as well. So uh, Lego offers you that, I mean. Even the $5 Lego or like a $2 Benefic is the same thing you'll get in like a, you know, the most expensive sets out there, which are like $800 or something like that, right? So, uh, okay, that's what I'll say for now, yeah. So, KOG, if you have a Lego knockoff maker, then you can do contact this guy who is a very well-reputed bounty hunter so that he can hunt down those knockoff manufacturers. So what do you want to do to those knockoff people who make knockoff Legos? Hi, everyone. Thank you again for being here. Uh, I actually agree with all three of them because I've been a Lego collector since I was a kid. My Amar Dadi, Amar Abba, Amma, they've always brought me Legos. Um, and it was a different time then because there wasn't so many things available. You know, there was, there was no licensing. So it was just castles or, you know, an amusement park or something like that. But, but I do. I also have a but, I think. Just from, I'm more of an action figure collector, but I do have my Lego collection. But I've seen, and I can specifically talk about the Bangladesh market. Jay, there, there are two sides I don't support. For example, Lepin, I don't. It's like Napster. They keep coming back. But, but, is, uh, I see a lot of collectors and a lot of builders. And the thing is, we want to promote Lego. But a lot of people, especially in this country, can't afford it. That's, that's a big factor. So, and not that they can't afford it later. I think initially, to start off with, you can start off with a set. That's just the only difference I will say. Just to get the ball rolling, learn how to do it. Because why I'm saying this is we've seen, for example, a lot of action figure collectors. Someone loves Spider-Man but they have absolutely no money to buy a Spider-Man. They'll come to Comic-Con, hang out, they're like, you know what, this is 2,000 taka, this is 3,000 taka, I don't want to buy it. But I can buy a bootleg figure for Pashu taka, which looks horrible, and it's awful, but it's out there. So what, what will that, I'm just telling you about someone's journey. So what that guy will do is buy that figure, take it home, he's probably seven, eight, whatever. Of course, there are people that can afford it, but about the people that can't, especially in our culture. So he'll take it home, you know, put it next to his bed stand or whatever, stare at it, look at it. And as the years pass, he will know that that is actually not the right, legit thing. And there are better things that exist. So it's a journey, I think, that I've seen. And they'll actually jump to the point of actually getting the right thing, real thing. So I think there's a fine line, but I don't support it. But I think it's a good starting point. And I totally agree about, you know, how... Because uh, there's a lot of companies now making their own designs. You know, which is, which is great, like Zingbao, right? Zingbao is a great brand. Yeah, and I've seen like tons. I mean, I used to hear about Lepin only, but there's probably like 20, 30 different brands now doing their own thing. And I, I, I totally understand about the 
complete knockoff, like the friend said, or the stranger thing said, you know? But like you guys said, they can make their own, and that can be a good starting point too. So anyway, that's my opinion. So uh, just to look at this few samples on the table, we have Captain Marvel with the cat. Who can name the cat of Captain Marvel? What's the name of the cat from Captain Marvel? Captain Marvel movie the Biralta Namki. Nah. Someone said it. Who said it? No. No one knows. Captain Marvel at Biralta Namki. It's goose. It's goose. So uh, I always had this misconception. J Lego Mani Hochi like straight you know, figures, but I look at this cat and I'm completely like, like, you know, so how does this work? Like, how do you make a uh, curve shape using Lego? Well, it isn't a Lego, but it's similar in that it uses plates. So the thing is that Lego, you remember when you were a kid, had those big blocks. But at some point, they began to make everything based on plates, which is one third of a block. And so once you're gotten to a level that's that level, you, if you put enough of them at an angle, it begins to resemble a curve. And so that's how it's done, just by focusing on plates. And plates has made all these micro builds available, like these little micro modulars over there. Um, without plates, you couldn't have done something like that. You can't even do the prop proper modules without uh, the big ones, without using plates. Everything is plate-based now, one third of a block. This was a manual, yeah. This is a, a, another brand, not Lego. Um, but they have their own designs of kitties and doggies. And this one, actually, you have to lose a little screw and put this plastic screw in there, or else it would fall apart. And that's because if you think about the quality of Lego, Legos are made to, what, zero point zero zero two millimeters of accuracy. So that means that like one out of every like 12 million pieces um, might have a flaw in it. So when you put a Lego together, it stays together. When you put a Lepin together, it doesn't stay together or any of these other bricks. So this one wouldn't stay together if they hadn't developed this little screw system to lock it into place. These little guys, because they're not Lego, that one keeps falling apart. So Lego is actually back to our Lego versus fakes uh, issue is that Lego has the quality that nothing else has, but others have found ways of getting around it. Uh, Lego is not just only toys and recreation. There are practical and scientific uses of Lego. A lot of science projects use Lego to make designs and stuff. So give a, tell us a little bit more about that, the real life application of Lego. Um, I guess uh, the biggest uh, real life application in that sense would be as something that inspires people to keep uh, building and creating things. Like uh, take these Technic uh, sets for example. Someone who like can build something like that, a kid or something uh, or anybody, uh, they might be inspired to become an engineer later. Someone who builds a, a building can be inspired to be an architect. And any other set, I mean, there are like sets which deal in robotics, there are sets which uh, are involved in programming, they teach languages, all kinds of things. And uh, even now there's like, uh, there's this thing called the Lego Foundation where they help out people, you know, with all kinds of issues and they've brought out uh, a, a braille version of Lego which can be built by those who can't even see the bricks. Just by feeling the instructions and the feeling the bricks themselves, they can create things which, you know, they might not be able to do with other toys or other, you know, forms of entertainment. And, and there are many, many such, you know, examples which you can go to. অনেকেই হয়তো জানেন না যে আমাদের বাংলাদেশে কিন্তু একটা লেগোর চমৎকার কমিউনিটি আছে একটা গ্রুপ আছে গ্রুপ অফ প্যাশনেট কালেক্টরস অ্যান্ড মেকারস অফ লেগো তো সেই গ্রুপটা নিয়ে একটু রূপাব ভাইকে বলবো আমাদেরকে একটু জানান আই বিন কালেক্টিং লেগো ইজ প্রবলি ওয়েন আই ওয়াজ লাইক থ্রি অর ফোর ইয়ার্স ওল্ড ওয়েন ড্যাড ইউজ টু বাই মি লেগোস অ্যান্ড স্টাফ সো অ্যাজ আই ওয়াজ গ্রোয়িং আপ 
I have seen like Facebook coming up and then I saw like probably there are other collectors uh, uh, lurking around. Uh, so I wanted to get everybody together to find out like exactly how many collectors are there or uh, how many Lego enthusiasts are there. So back in 2014, um, I opened a Facebook uh, group that was called Lego Collectors and Fans of Bangladesh. And later on, it grew and it's still growing. Uh, eventually, now we have around like 700 um, odd members right now. And later on, I, br uh, I was the founder admin. And later on, uh, Ishtiak Bhai joined me as an admin to help me out. And just today, Judith has also been an admin. And the first thing with, that we did today was change the name of the group to Lego Fans of Bangladesh. So it's simpler, easier to uh, memorize, and easier to find out. And this group has actually, like today, we are uh, we are here, like the three of us. That's because of probably the Lego group. Because if the group wasn't there, probably there was not uh, there, this panel wouldn't be happening right right now. And we have met a lot of other collectors, great collectors too, from here and abroad. Like we have Samin, uh, Shams, Mahmoud, and then Zoheb and uh, Yasin. So many other collectors that I've met. I was lucky to meet them. Uh, and they have such an amazing collectors as well. So this group is growing. And if anybody here like wants to be a part of the LEGO community, can always send an ad request. And we'll just add you up. And you can find out like how awesome the LEGO world is, actually. Thanks. So I want to say, the time price is very briefly that any concluding words you want to say about LEGO, just very briefly. Uh, buy original, buy original Legos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, buy original stuff. But, uh, you know, if uh, the cost and price and all these things are a factor, you can maybe get some, you know, non brand stuff as, uh, as raw material to create ideas which, you know, you might think up yourself. And, uh, th and you can get, uh, you know, other companies like, you know, uh, Mega Blocks and all kinds of other companies exist which uh, cover topics which LEGO doesn't cover. Like, for example, science fiction and space sets and military sets. And so if you're not even interested in the, set, in the themes that LEGO covers, you can always get those. And uh, there are always are the, uh, you know, the knockoffs. But uh, better to avoid them unless uh, it's absolutely, you know, not possible or something. Yeah. Just build. Just start building right now. Doesn't matter. Doesn't have to be a fancy set. Just build. And vote. And vote. <laughs> right over there. Yes, don't forget to vote for that. And can we have a huge round of applause for our LEGO panelists?